I am actually moved in a clockwise motion. Let's just put it right at the center. And imagine. I hope you can see it has gained the motion. Yeah. Like I was saying, in the northern he in the north north part of the equator, actually the ocean currents move in a clockwise motion, but south of the equator line it moves the other way around. Also the wild winds and the tornadoes in the desert. North of the equator line, like in Sahara Desert, the wild winds and the tornadoes spin in a clockwise motion. But south of the equator line, like in Kalahari Desert in Namibia, it spins the other way around. If you are also in a hotel north of the equator line and then flush the water in the bathroom, it's but spinning the other way around. If you also take a keen look at the vines in the northern hemisphere, it tends to grow coiling in a clockwise motion. If you look at it in the southern hemisphere, it tends to grow coiling the other way round. So we may move to the southern hemisphere and I will see the difference. Let's okay. move to the Since we are in the south, we expect a counter-clockwise motion. So we should go down again, settle. Then we use the same same match stick as our indicator. Slowly it turns the other way around. But on the equator line, it doesn't play anymore because the process starts to travel all around. And the further you move away from the equator line, I also wanted to let you know that the equator is not actually a very, very thin line, it's a very huge corridor. But we're trying to find the middle of that very huge corridor. So we can just so go, we go on the equator. Okay. just comes to a standstill and still the water is just running down just as in the north and in the southern hemisphere and so that marks the end of Thank visually you. after the experiment i do request to visit us to have a proof to certify that you have crossed the equator line by issuing a certificate i will issue the certificate Thank you. Thank you, Fletcher. Thank you. 
And thus marks the end of our demonstration to prove that uh, Mrs. and Mr. <laughs> Markles, they have already crossed the equator in